Hi, everybody. So I'm back from my bed. I've been obviously recovering from COVID. It's been, I'm on day seven now and just starting to feel better. Uh, still need to take hours of naps, but yeah, starting to feel like maybe I'm going to be okay. Very scary, this whole thing. Anyway, I don't want to be a Debbie Downer, so here we go. Uh, this confessional video is a highlight on Mary Cosby, uh, mom interview that she did with Up and Adam the other day. I'll put the link in the description to the full interview, but I thought it only uh, uh, fair to comment on it, right? Because I've been really into this subject. And also... Um, wanted to say congratulations because I had reached out to Mary Cosby's mom and she did not respond. I'm super so. he excited that Adam got this interview because he deserves it and I'm sure he worked really hard for it. It looks like he even went to where she is uh, to do the interview. So he deserves all the accolades he's getting. Congratulations, Adam. Okay, so here we go. Uh, my thoughts you're going to ask us and what we come out with today the most important thing for Rosie and myself is that mama gets to be seen in the light of who she actually is right and anything that didn't represent God anything that didn't represent honesty anything that didn't represent uh, good things and keeping families together and promoting family health and strength and business and great and good things mama would not have been for it right. so no matter what is said or what's done here she is everything good. I can Absolutely. tell you that. Absolutely. She was everything good. So this part of the interview was a highlight for me because Rozzy, um, Mama's daughter, and Mary Cosby's mom, uh, obviously kind of showed why she did the interview with Adam and why she finally spoke, which is she doesn't want the original church that was set up by Mama that did a lot of good to be associated with the later church that Robert Cosby set up with Mary Cosby and ripped from uh, Rosie's control. And so I think that was an important point to call out to you guys. Now let's move on to the next point. Oh, I did want to say it was a little strange that Rosie started crying while talking about her mom. Um, I mean, it's like shows, I guess, the seriousness of the impact that that woman had on her daughter i mean not just as a mother-daughter relationship but also as like her religious religious leader okay so also said was that R rosy and her husband who's mary cosby's stepdad believe that mary uh was manipulated by robert and lois mortgage company but she, she had just young... met, mama had just married her and dana that's what I was just gonna say, Rosie. Yeah. That and Rosie was just about to. She talk. was younger than Mama. Me. If Mama she meant was... for Mary to marry Robert, why would she then, with Robert, marry her to her husband, then Dana? Right. Three years before she passed. I mean, she didn't know she was gonna pass. Obviously, Pentecostal church and our church. This is interesting. His lifetime. So, you know, saving for the cause of fornication or adultery, or or illegal acts, you don't get divorced. Right. In the Mormon, in, in the Pentecostal in church, and I think as well as like in the LDS church in Utah. Here. So marriage is not something that you, you you take lightly, you know. And I think even in even in society now, you don't get married. It's not a light thing. So for Mama to marry, I know what society is in. Dana, her husband, who she was married she to, was seventeen when Mama when she got passed. Uh, I think she was a little and, that, but, but anyway, and Mama didn't. Yeah, oh. she suddenly died. Yeah. Well, Mama, everybody knows what yeah, that Yeah, well, Mama died suddenly like that, truthfully. But Mama was not going to marry her to Dana and then expect for her to get a divorce and marry Robert or Bob. Okay. That's not true. Well, you know, there was a... But Mary believed that. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but Mary okay. believed that. So I do think that Mary Cosby, you know, as an 18, 19-year-old girl, could have been a victim of brainwashing by Robert Cosby who just basically bribed her with nice things. And, um, but for her to turn on her mother for this many years is, is pretty incredible. 
especially given that the mom has absolutely proven to a court that she was the one who was supposed to inherit the church from Mama. So why would Mary Cosby not believe the evidence that her mom obviously had that she was the rightful heir of the church, not Bishop? Why would Mary help Bishop and Lois take the church away from Mama? That to me, uh, excuse me, from um, Mary's Mama. Mary's Mama, not the Mama. Uh, so I don't know. That's strange to me. I do believe that later in her life, Mary caught on. Come in here, drinking. I need pictures on y'all seeing. A door there, the elbow. Y'all see that? Y'all ain't helping. Halfway paying tithes. I got fourteen birthday cards. Y'all stingy hell. You're a poor people. Y'all ain't helping. So what I believe Rosie, Mary Cosby's mom and her stepdad think is that Robert was afraid of losing the business of the church and the money from the church. And this lowest person who was, I guess, the CFO person of the church, um, she was going to lose her job position because Rosie had made it clear that she was going to remove her in power. And to save the money, keep the money coming in, and to save their the structure of the church that was I existing that Mama had put in place, you know, they manipulated Mary to come in and side with them and give them, I guess, almost like um, clout. Okay, here's another highlight for me. And then he's so ugly, I think. <laughs> he's come running down the, now. around the bushes and said, Mama, uh, no, he called her taters. Taters, Rosie likes me. That's what he said. That's he's very, crazy. He thinks, if, let me just tell you. This is Robert, they're talking Rosie's about Bishop, story. Grandpa. This individual's in love with himself. He thinks every woman wants him, but he's so, so mistaken. <laughs> is it? <laughs> okay, so I think what the story means is that Grandpa was actually trying to make Mama jealous of Rosie by having planting the seed in Mama's head that Rosie was trying to take him away from Mama and break up their marriage and that she wasn't happy in her own marriage to uh, the man in, in Adam's interview, who's Mary's stepdad. So I guess the idea here is, is Bishop's plan was to get Mary to turn, excuse me, was to get Mama to turn on uh, Rosie, Mary's mom, so that she wouldn't want to give the church to her if anything happened to her. And then, by the way, as I mentioned, Mama suddenly, mysteriously dies, like, a day so later. So Mark, uh, Mary's stepdad, believes that Robert Cosby was trying to hook up with Rosie first, Mary Cosby's mom, so that he could maintain the power and the respect of the church. And he needed a family member, one of Mama's offspring, to maintain that power and control. And since Rosie wasn't going for it, he went to Mary Cosby. Yep, as a teenage girl. Wow, with Rosie in the choir. So Rosie represented power structure for the church. So if he gets Rosie, who's going to question him or anything else? It's a power struggle. It's manipulation. It's about money and power. Yeah. So Mary was the young, beautiful, twenty-something so that got caught up. She's a victim. Now she's just Still she's true. a grown woman. She's a grown woman with a son. Okay, so then the rest of this part of the story we kind of know, but I'll play like a minute of it because why not? Like 1998. It's I left the, news. the church. We left. Walked out. It, it, it was a month after she died. He, he a month he after he married, daughter. and he came up. Yeah, came up. With married. That, right. He kept her in his house, in my mother's house. Away and from she her. She kept husband. running away from me. And she kept running away, and he kept going to get her, and kept her away from her husband in order to separate them to ultimately marry Mary. And legally, 
that would be called alienation of affection in legal terms. So he alienated him being a bishop, alienated her husband, Tim. her from her husband, took her to the house up here in Utah, took her to Florida, took her to Indiana, and kept her away from her husband. So okay. he could do one thing, brainwash Brainwash her. Brainwash her. So when you found out you left the church for transferring Rosie did. properties from mama's possession and transferring into the church corporation for one reason only. Who said to my control papers? the properties and to keep them away from paying the children. The she won years. that case, by the way. Because technically Rosie, had they against not Grandpa. been put under the church, under the business, then... So... Adam asks the difficult question of whether or not, uh, the, you know, Rosie and Mark think that Mary Cosby is a cult leader. They say, you know, no, they think she's been brainwashed by Robert because she was, you know, taken in by him at such a young age. Mark seems to waver on this a little bit. He seems to say, well, you know, yes, I do think in the beginning she was brainwashed, but now she's a grown woman. So, like, I don't know if she's still brainwashed, you know, or what she's up to now with the church, right? So it kind of leaves it a little bit open. I'm paraphrasing, but that's what I took from what he said. Um, obviously, Rosie is trying to protect her daughter. And she's like, you know, I don't see her as the mastermind behind taking money from church members, I think it's all Robert and Lois, the money manager. That's what, so that's Ro what Rosie thinks. But I mean, I do uh, understand totally where Rosie and Mark are coming from in trying to protect Mary. And certainly I do think she's a victim in some of this, but I've heard her talk to her parishioners. If indeed it is truly Mary, that are screaming at the parishioners asking them for money. And to me, this is not just like some brainwashed wife sitting in the audience, you know, like staring up at like, you know, the bishop doing all of the services, making all the requests to the parishioners for stuff. I feel like she's an active participant with Bishop, um, you know, in the way that she treats the parishioners. And I know that Dan Cosby felt that way. So that's her cousin. I talk to him a lot of people have talked to him you guys have probably seen on youtube so i don't know i'm not buying a hundred percent victim here for mary cosby yeah. we have the back sense okay so what they've but been that's doing, not mary but what they've been doing since then but lois is in that they work together so, bob and lois if so mary if mary's doing that or if mary had any part of that like i said i'll i'll, I'll say it again and if, i don't know if i've mentioned this before i should have but Mary has been manipulated from the beginning by Robert Cosby and by Lois Johnson. Mm -hmm. she and so you think money. Mary is a victim in all of this? No, she's she is a victim. She is a victim. She is yes, a victim. She is. definitely a victim. But now she's at the age where, I mean, she has, a full, she has a full grown son now. If I would say anything, you know, and Mary doesn't, you know, we, we haven't spoken. And, you know, she wouldn't listen to me anyways. And it, but it's okay. I'll, I'll say it anyways. But if Mary was, would, would want to be successful in life, at any level, doing anything else, the best thing she can do would be get as far away from there and, and that man as on possible. to say that she is so happy that Mary Cosby's on Housewives because she sees it as Mary trying to figure out a way to get some independence from Robert Cosby to leave him. And that's what she thinks or they hope is happening with the show. And they wouldn't be wrong. A lot of women do use the show um, to get away from bad husbands. So could be, could very well be the truth that that's why. That was my, an original theory I had in the beginning. Before I had heard some of the bad things Mary had said to parishioners, I actually thought Mary was a victim and that, you know, she was using the show to get away from this, the grandpa. But then I heard her talking smack to all the parishioners and heard a lot of people making allegations that she was doing things not right and that's when my mind shifted away from that theory. Well, she okay, let's no, this. she's being accused of running a cult. There is not a cult, but it's a cult that church with Robert Cosby. He's doing it. She needs, if she's not, let's let's put it like this. I know mm -hmm. Rosie feels the same way I do. Let's put it like this: if if there those are the allegations and the people, not only family and other people are leaving, if she doesn't agree with it and she's and it isn't like that, she better re remove herself very quickly. No, no, because under Bob, her. under Bob. 
Cosby. It is a call. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So if she's married to him and it is what it is. You know, one of my biggest... may not be aware of this, but Rozzy, Mary Cosby's mom, thinks that Robert may have had something to do with uh, Mama's death. She actually tried to get the body uh, dug up and autopsied um, because she believes it that much. So hold on a second. How she didn't want to you know, get physical with him at times and she okay. was disgusted by him. He's and dangerous. And she, well, she went on and on about this. And now we're hearing that she has allegedly cheated on him with one of the members who was from the congregation. His that's name is good. Cameron. <laughs> do you... That's good. You, do you say that's good? She needs to get away She should have just went ahead and left. Forget it. So do you think... <laughs> Me I mean, too, Mark, I agree. Have you heard anything about this? About these Cameron rumors? I heard it, but I don't understand what they're talking have, about. I have, and let me just say, uh, I Adam, wish she had ran away. I think, I think Mary's <laughs> mom said there was, I know she ran away with him, meaning Cameron. Okay, that's the New York trip I was talking about in my last video. All right, now let's see what else we can find. A lot of stuff is like buried in this interview. It's kind of like you have to really go for it. Now, Mark and Rozzy call Mary a spoiled brat. Hold on. Multiple businesses. They probably had multiple businesses and other streams of income. So it wouldn't be just a church. But I feel the same way Rozzy does. Mary is not really qualified to be running the church. Mm -mm. Mary was a little girl when they got married mm -hmm. and, and a little spoiled brat, basically. And that's why they, that's why he pulled her together to keep control. He, he put it on. That was not about ever about Mary. Okay. No. That was about Bob, him. They Robert need to Gossett. look at him. That was about Bob Robert Cosby and Annie Lois Johnson keeping the integrity of the money of the church, the mortgage company, and everything going the way they mortgage wanted it to go. Mortgage company was a lot of money for, the, being able to for that little conglomerate. Just that simple. So when Mary has to defend herself in her church and she's like... Well, there you have it. We have Rosie's, uh side of the story now. Um, it's... Pretty complex family dynamic, huh? Remember, Grandpa, who Rosie hates because he, you know, allegedly she believes might have hurt her mama, stole her church and all of her inheritance, um, is also the father of um, her grandchild. Yeah, very complex stuff. This is why you shouldn't really, you know, break the family boundaries, okay? Because... It very it really kind of throws everything out of whack. All right, you guys, if you uh, have any comments about my highlights, were your highlights any different? Do you agree these are the highlights? And what do you think about them? Um, I don't normally drop a video on Saturday, but I'm going to. Why not? Why not?